everybody. Good morning. It's Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. I'm going to bring you out a little bit. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, it is morning. Here's my coffee. I'm still working on it. Um, what I'm doing right now, I'll bring it back in just a touch. These are, this is a painted paper that I made a few days ago um, after doing a lesson in Wanderlust with Flora Boley. I... I went crazy and I was just having a lot of fun. So I did a bunch of magazine um, pages, just painted papers. And I got looking at them this morning and I thought, man, this would be a really cool cover for a journal. Just something I could throw in my purse and, and take around with me. So what I did is I just took one, I folded it in half. I folded it this way. I am not doing any measurements whatsoever. I folded it this way so I have like a little spine area here. I've got an old cereal box um, that I've just cut down a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make covers. I'm gonna glue these in right here. I'm just going to glue the paper to this cardboard box and then I'm gonna cut a small spine. Now I don't I'm not one for measuring and being exactly right on the money. That's just not who I am. I like when there's little errors or oopses. Oopses. Is that a word? Oopses. Um, if you hear some noise outside, it is my hubby. He's working on a, um, a non-art room. <laughs> He's actually working on building me a an art studio. So, um, I've just decided that I'm going to take a little bit of this. This is like a book binding tape. It's actually a packing tape. Um, a shipping and packing tape. Something's up with my lights here. Sorry about that. Alright, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these together because really don't want them to move. This is just a water, a bottle um, with water in it on this sponge. And what happens is when you get this stuff wet, it seals and it's really cool. So I'm just gonna, there's a little bit of water, activate the paste on here. And again, remember, I'm not one for measuring and all that happy stuff. Right now I am just putting this together like so. that there. I'm going to try to keep it kind of, um, there we go, straight along this so that when I, see, when I um, glue that on there, it stays glued on. So we're just activating the, the glue part on this. I just want to hold that together a little bit. I think it'll give it a little bit more structure on that spine. Now, as far as a plan, I don't have a plan on how this is going to turn out. I am just playing. And this is how I learn things, is just by playing and seeing what I can come up with. See, I have it relatively straight across the top here, which is good. The spine is about the right size that I want. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some... Decoupage, this is Martha Stewart's, only because it was on uh, clearance. And actually, I don't want to use that. I want to use a matte gel. There we go. Take a matte gel, and I'm going to take a, that's an old business card, not much of one, but. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this paper down to this box. And again, I'm playing here, so um, I don't have instructions, I don't have whatever. I'm just playing, and we're going to see what we can do with this. Just see how it turns out. And I'm hoping, what I have in mind is, um, I have in mind like it's just a small journal I can throw in my purse and play around in. So, that's what I'm doing this for. So that if I'm out and about, and I want to... You know, sitting waiting for dinner or that kind of thing. Um, I have just a small 
journal that I can play in. I want to make sure this is down all the way. I'm really sorry. I, don't, I hope you can't hear that pounding, but you probably can. Okay. Just make sure that's down well. So do the same thing to this side. Make sure that's down all the way. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing to this other side. Use up the glue that's on here. hear you. I was just going to do this with um, just the paper and make like a really flexible one, but the way I throw stuff in my purse, I'm afraid it'll get all really messed up. So I decided to add the um, cereal box to it just to give it some sturdiness so that it doesn't turn up, you know, turn out like a wrinkled mess in the bottom of my purse. So again, I'm just flattening this down with a credit card or whatever this was, room key or who knows. Just making sure my ends are all down. And Now, I've got that glued on here. I'm going to dry it up real quick, and then I'm just going to trim around it. Um, I got these from Maypid Helix. They, these are the nicest scissors I have ever owned. Um, definitely check them out on their website. And no, they're not paying me to say that. I love them, though. They're fantastic scissors. I actually have three pair of them. And also, if you have a real deals, it's like a dollar store in your area, go check it out because I found these there. And these are from Mayped Helix also. Um, and these were only a buck. So I like these scissors as well. So check it out. All right. All right, let me dry this up. I'll finish trimming it up and I'll be right back. All right, so now what I've done, um, because this is only a magazine page, I put a couple pieces of a washi. This is on the inside because I noticed the magazine page was tearing a little bit along the corners. It's not doing it on the outside. I probably will be putting some type of a reinforcement there, whether it's a washi tape, a duct tape, something of that nature. Um, but for now, it's good. So what I did is I found a bunch of this paper that I have, and I don't even know what kind of paper it is. It's a pretty heavyweight, like a cardstock. Um, it's got quite a bit of a, um, I don't know what you want to call it, a texture on it. It might be some cheap watercolor paper. I don't know. But what I did is I just took the sheets. There's the sheet. Um, I just folded it over and put in a crease, okay? So now what I have is I have three signatures of six pages each. Um, and they're exactly the right height. This is funny because, like I said, I don't measure. This is the right height, okay? It's just a little bit long. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down so that I'm just going to have about that big of a book. And I think that's going to be perfect. Then we're going to work on getting the signature sewn in. I'll show you how I do that. Very simple. And uh, let me go ahead and cut this down. Now this I'm going to have to make a mark for. And here's my mark. Yep, right there. Yep, right there. That's my mark. So let's cut it down. Okay, I had to buy myself a new cutter. A new cutter. I wanted a bigger one that wouldn't take up my entire desk. I have a larger one, but it takes up the huge desk. This is a Fiskars. The only problem I have with this, and I'm just going to say it right up front, this th the, the knife, the blade, never stays in. I always have to... Um, I always have to pick it back up and stick it back in. It's only supposed to come out in this one spot down here, but it doesn't. It comes out everywhere. So, anyways, this I'll use maybe for a bookmark or something of that nature. 
All right, let me cut it here. Okay, I know this isn't even, so I know this side is even. And it's probably driving you ladies crazy that have the OCD about everything being even. Thankfully, I don't have that issue. But see, see, it always falls out. So Fiskars, if you're watching this, that drives me crazy. All right, let me just, I will trim this off just for giggles. All right, so that's off. So here we are, our little cover. Not sure what's going to be the front, what's going to be the back. doesn't really matter. Okay, and we're going to have ourselves a little book. So let me get out my binding supplies, the stuff that I need to sew this in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my supplies out, and I'll show you what you're going to need. Um, I like to use this, they call it premium ribbon. It's from American Crafts. It's like a just a string, okay? But I like using it because it's strong enough, it's not going to break. So this is what I use. You need a needle that you can get that string into. So if you look at the head of this needle, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite wide, quite it's big, okay? Definitely if you're ever going if you're going to make yourself some uh, journals, get yourself an awl all it, it this these things are a lifesaver pair of scissors and a pen all right so i've got my three signatures here now what i'm going to do is i just put them in the book and like it's going to sit like this okay then what i do is i just take my pen and i mark where i'm going to put my signatures again as you see i'm not doing any measuring this one needs to come over just a little bit all right so here they are, my three little marks. Need my ruler. <clears throat> there's one, there's two, and there's three. So I am just going to draw a straight line. All the way down. All three of them. Just eye in it, eyeball in it. Okay, I don't know if you can see them. I've got one there, one there, and one there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one sheet of one of my signatures because they're all the same size. I'm just going to take one sheet and I'm going to figure out where I want my holes. Okay. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually only going to do two. Let me think. No, let's do three. So I'm going to say about here, about here, and about right in the middle. All right, so there's my three. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that template, and I'm going to use my awl, and I'm going to put holes in. There's one. I'm right on that line, okay, just by using this template. Here's two making sure I'm still on the line. For some reason I'm moving. Okay, right there. And here's three. Alright, so now I have three holes for my first row. I'm going to use the same template. There's one. There's two. Okay, some reason I got moved. There's three. Okay, one more, move it over. There's one. Be very careful that you don't poke your fingers with this because let me tell you, it hurts. <clears throat> so there's my three. All right, so I've got my six holes in here. I'm not worried about the outside, no big deal. You can also do it from the outside in if you choose. That way you wouldn't have these little dots. I really don't mind. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same template, <clears throat> pardon me, put it in my signature and do the same exact thing. We're going to poke the holes. There's the middle, top, bottom. Take that same template. 
to remember which is the middle top and bottom. That helps too. Because if you mess them up, then you're like, hmm, it's uneven. Middle, top, bottom. Okay, so there's this one goes in here. One, there's two, and three. Middle, top, and bottom. All right, now this has to go back in its original signature, which I believe is that one, but we'll count them. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure I have them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, so that's the right one. Okay, so now we have our three signatures, we have our holes, we have our binding. So now what we're gonna do is sew it together. <clears throat> and again, this is just how I've learned how to do it. Um, you can, there's many, many, many videos out there showing you how to bind, um, stitch, uh, make your own journals. This is, this is just my way. All right, so now how I've learned the string, <clears throat> instead of just using this and having a whole bunch left over, sorry, I should have showed you this first. What I've learned is if you take it and go the, the width of your book, times two, that's enough string. So I always put a little bit extra, and there we go. All right, so what I've done is I have got this set. I'm gonna take my first signature. I am going to go, let me thank you for a second. I'm gonna have it tie on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is go through my middle hole, okay? I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail here. I'm going to go back through my top hole. Maybe. Come on. Come on. I know you're there. Back through my top hole. Put on my signature. I'm going to go all the way down. Go through my bottom hole. Okay, so I have this straight in the middle and I still have my tail here. And then I'm going to come back in the bottom hole. Or I'm sorry, the middle hole. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to confuse you. I'm going to come back in the middle hole. Okay, and I'm going to tie it. Now sometimes I will take the string and go underneath this. Oops, have this in the middle so that when I tie it down, it's actually holding that middle string in place. I'm going to tie it twice. Come on, go around. Go around and go around. Come on. Come on. My big fingers. All right. And here it is. So we have one signature sewn in. Sometimes I leave these here because I never know if I want to put something on them. All right, but there's one signature sewn in. So now let's go ahead and do our second signature. <coughs> Same thing. I'm going to take my, whoops, I'm going to drop my string. Rewind it up. All right, whatever. Okay, so I'm basically going to take this and go the length, whoops, length times two, a little bit more. Okay, same thing, I'm going to thread my needle. All right, take my second signature. Again, I'm going to start with the middle. Up. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Go through my middle hole. Whoops, the other way. Let's do it the other way. Go down. <laughs> through my middle hole. Alright, so I have a little bit of a tail. Go up.
Don't forget to hold on to your tail because if you let it go, it'll mess it all up. Get my first signature in, or my second. There we go. Okay. Sometimes I think you need to have 12 hands doing this. Okay, and we'll put it down. Okay, there it is. It's in. And now we'll come back through that hole again. Come back up through the middle. Come on. I know there's a hole there. Come on. Now, sometimes you have this problem where it says it doesn't want to go back through the paper, but just play with it. You'll find your hole eventually. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to pull this tight because I've got this signature quite loose right now. So what I'm going to do is just pull it tight. All right, and there it is. So signature is in. It's all good. Pull it tight. I'm going to put this, I'm actually going to take this around that like that to hold that down. Okay, and just tie a little knot in it. I call that a single knot, and then this I call a double knot. You take your string and you go through your hole twice. And I found when I was doing stained glass and I was playing with fish line, um, that holds, <clears throat> pardon me, holds a lot tighter. All right, so there's our second one. Now we'll do our third, same thing. One, two, a little bit more. Cut, thread. <clears throat> Take our signature down through the middle hole. Hold on to our tail. Go up. Keep our tail, make sure we get our hole for our signature. bottom, find our hole, okay, here's our tail, pull it tight, go back up, bingo, all right, same thing, I'm going to take this and put it around the middle guy, pull it tight, we're going to do some knots, we're going to do a single knot, then we're going to do a double. Two. All right. Okay. We now have a small little book with our signatures. Okay. Open flat. Sorry about the pounding. Like I said, my studio is being built. And there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will actually show you some of the uh, pages once I get them done. And um, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.